Psalm 27 and verse number 13. Amen. I'm going to read it in three different translations, beginning with the King James Version. Psalm 27 verse 13, King James says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord, where? In the land of the living. Come on, this is this is a right now word for us, amen. This first Sunday, glory to God, first Sunday, amen, in a brand new year. King James again says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The ESV English Standard Version says it like this. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Come on, this ain't nothing but a declaration. Come on, you got to believe that thing. Tell your neighbor, amen. You can't doubt it. You got to believe it. Amen. Again, the ESV says, I believe. Somebody say, I believe. Come on, y'all work with me this morning. Y'all online, get ready to type. Say, I believe, type it. I believe. The ESV Psalm 27 and 13 says again, I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah to God. And then the same text in the NIV, the New International Version says, I remain confident. Oh, I wish I had me a church. Glory to God. I remain confident of this. Watch this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Come on, somebody. Work with me today. Hallelujah. Can I say it again out of the NIV, Psalm 27 and 13? I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. I want to preach from the subject today, and it was the song, amen, that we played during offering. You're going to live to see it happen. Come on. Somebody give God praise. Amen. The psalmist declared, I'm confident of this. I believe this. Amen. That I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Our subject again today is you're going to live to see it happen. Now, I don't do this a lot, but there is a subtopic today. And the subtopic is the goodness of the Lord. Now I want you to, amen, meditate on that for a moment. Amen. Let that resonate. Amen. The subject, you're going to live. I want to, I prophesy to somebody. I make that a prophetic declaration. You're going to live to see it happen. And when somebody prophesies, uh, prophesies over your life, gives you a prophetic declaration, all there is for you to do is say, I receive. Now, let me look at the church. Let me look at the church. Amen. Your response to the prophetic declaration is two words, I receive. Now, let me prophesy to you. You're going to live to see it happen. I receive. You're going to live to see it happen. I receive. Hallelujah. Amen. And again, our hallelujah to God. Our subtopic is, amen, the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's get into this. I'm not going to be long this morning. Amen. Good. The word good. Amen. Good is not just what God does. Amen. But good is who God is. Hallelujah. That's foundational right there. We're going to build. We can build from that. Good. Amen. We say it all the time. God is good. 
Amen. God is good. Amen. Good is not just what God does. Amen. Good is who God is. Amen. And since Jesus was the exact living image of the invisible God in the earth, according to Colossians 1 and 15, amen, the Bible lets us know that when Jesus came, the Bible says that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And then what did he do? He went about doing good where are my bible thumpers amen jesus went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil the bible says for god was with him you can find that in acts chapter 10 verse 38 god is the very essence of good my God, remember our subject today and our subtopic, you're going to live to see it happen. Subtopic, the goodness of the Lord. I repeat, God is the very essence of good. Even Sister Kimberly, in the most difficult situations, God is still good. Somebody said, well, uh, amen, is God good? He allowed a baby to be born blind. He allowed so many things, amen, to happen. Yes, God is good. Somebody type that on the screen. God is good, amen. There is no time when God is not good. All that's going on in the world around us does not take away from the fact that God is good. I want to see that a whole lot of times. God is good. In spite of, amen, what may be going on in our personal lives, what may be going on in our families, in our finances, God is good. Amen. I want to look at, amen, another word, because we've been looking at Psalm 27 and verse, amen, number, amen, what, what verse are we looking at? Verse number 13, I, I read it, it talks about the goodness of the Lord, and that is our subtopic, the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Goodness, and I want you to hear me. Because God gave me this. This came directly from God. He gave me his definition of goodness. Listen. Goodness is the manifestation of God in the earth. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. My God, if you get that, if you allow that to attach itself to your spirit, goodness Walk with me through this today. Goodness is the manifestation of God in the earth. I believe I'll take my time today. I want to make sure y'all understand. I want to see the church. I want you, I want you to know this. Amen. Goodness is the manifestation of God in the earth. Come on. I'm going somewhere with this. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it one more time for the people on the, on the, on the back row. Amen. Goodness is the manifestation of God in the earth. When we talk about goodness, amen, goodness is the expression of God in the earth. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Goodness is the representation of God in the earth. Can I say that? I'm, I'm taking my time. I see you, Pastor Octavia, Apostle Octavia. Amen. I'm working this today. I'm taking my time. Amen. Goodness is the manifestation of God in the earth. Goodness is the expression of God in the earth. Goodness is the representation of God in the earth. Let me take you back. Remember... 
when the queen of Sheba went to see Solomon. Y'all remember that? Amen. That story over there, I believe it's in first Kings when the queen of Sheba went to see uh, uh, Solomon because first of all, she had heard, hallelujah, about the wisdom and the wealth and the fame of Solomon. His reputation and they had preceded him. She heard all about it. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And now the queen of Sheba is going to see Solomon so that she can see it with her own eyes. Listen, when Queen Sheba got to the place, amen, the palace, amen, the place, amen, where she was going to meet Solomon, the Bible says she was met by his goodness, come on somebody, before she met Solomon. Don't miss this today. The Queen of Sheba had heard and now she's on her way to see with her own eyes, to see Solomon. But before she met Solomon, which was the king, she met his goodness first. Oh, I wish I had a church. Hallelujah to God. I'm going to say it again. She met goodness before she met Solomon. What do you mean, Pastor Kim? How did she know firsthand that Solomon was a good king? I'm taking my time. Hallelujah. Because as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. First natural and then spiritual. Hallelujah. So how did she know what was the evidence, amen, that Solomon was a good king? Amen. Because she saw the goodness on Solomon's servants. I wish I had a church right here. Amen. I'm going to say that again. She saw with her own eyes. She beheld the goodness. She saw it on Solomon's servants before she even and met Solomon. She met up with the goodness of the king. I wish I had a church. Hallelujah. The point I'm making here that I want you to take away is that the queen of Sheba met goodness first. Hmm. Somebody type it on the screen. Say she met goodness first. The Bible says, how do you know this, Pastor Kim? Because the Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 10 and verse number 5, amen, before she even met up with the king, the Bible says, amen, she looked at the food on his table. Oh, I feel God. She looked, she beheld, she looked at the food that was on his table. Then she began to look at the seating of the servants and the court officials and the attendants of the waiters and their attire. Hallelujah. His cupbearers were looking good. Hallelujah. Then she gazed and his stairway by which he went up to the Lord's house, the temple, amen, she looked at all the goodness. Remember, God said that my goodness is my manifestation in the earth realm. You can behold his goodness. Ah, the queen of Sheba looked around at all of this goodness. Hallelujah. You know, I can really do this in a part two. Amen. Because I, I'm, I'm even remembering, amen, hallelujah, how Moses wanted to see God. God, and, and we talk about this all the time, amen, but don't miss this, when, when, when God told to go into the cleft of a rock. What did he say? He said, you, 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 you go into that rock and, and my goodness, come on somebody, is going to pass by. I wish I had a church right here. Hallelujah to God. And so the Bible said, amen, when the queen of Sheba beheld all of this goodness, amen, amen, that her breath, it left her breathless and she was in awe by the wonder of it all. Goodness is the manifestation of God in the earth. I want you to say this, those of you that are in the Zoom room, open 
open up your mouth and say, God's goodness must be seen in the earth. Hallelujah. I'm going back to y'all because I want to see you. Hallelujah. This is our first message for this brand new year. I want you to say God's goodness must be seen in the earth. Hallelujah. And there's a reason for it. Open up your mouth. I don't see no mouths moving. God's goodness must be seen in the earth. Hallelujah. Those of you that are on Facebook, uh, hallelujah. It's very important that you know that God's goodness must be seen in the earth. Uh, now watch this. Uh, hallelujah. Since God's goodness must be seen in the earth, it might as well be seen on me. Oh, I wish I had a church right there. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. We serve an awesome king. He's a mighty good king. And since his goodness must be seen in the earth, I might as well allow his goodness to be seen on me. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Don't you know that you are a witness in the earth? Hallelujah. Your very presence where you go, where you move around in the marketplace uh, ought to be a walking billboard uh, that the king I serve, uh, the God I serve, uh, he's a mighty good king. Hallelujah. How will they know that you serve a God that is good? Because his goodness is on me. Go back to the queen of Sheba. Before she met the king, the evidence was there that the king must be a good king. Somebody give God praise in the house. And since his goodness must be seen in the earth, it might as well be seen on me. Listen, when we are well in our bodies, hallelujah, when we can say that we're walking in divine healing and divine health, that's God's goodness. I have I got a church here today. When you look good, hallelujah, you are a manifestation, a representation of God's goodness in in the earth. Uh, don't miss that today. Uh, when you come out of your house, uh, hallelujah, and you're looking good, you're smelling good. Uh, listen, you're driving good. Uh, you're living good. Uh, amen. That is a manifestation of God's goodness uh, in the earth. Uh, when your children are looking good, uh, their hair is combed, uh, their clothes are clean and ironed and they looking good that is a manifestation of the goodness of God in the earth Psalm 27 and 13 our text says I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living listen when I look around amen and I got food in my refrigerator I give Give him thanks uh, because he is a good king uh, and the goodness of the Lord. Ah, uh, when I wake up in the morning and God allows me to get up, uh, hallelujah, brush my teeth. Uh, I have activity of limbs. Uh, I can move uh, because it's in him that we live uh, and move and have our being. Uh, beloved, that is the goodness of uh, the Lord. Somebody clap your hands right there. Let's take a praise break right here. Come on and give God glory. Hallelujah. I can look around my house and see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. My God is good. Hallelujah. And I come to declare today, I shall see the goodness of the Lord. Where? In the land of the living. Clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. I feel God in here. I feel God. Somebody type it if you haven't already. God is good. Listen. 
Thank you, Jesus. I decree, amen, I decree. And you know, God has put this in my spirit, amen, about making declarations, hallelujah. From this point out, ha ha, for the whole time that I have left here in this earth, I'm gonna open up my mouth and decree, amen. Uh, uh, I know there's a study there about decreeing. I do know that, amen, in Bible, times when when kings would make a decree amen that thing could not be reversed amen it was established even when a king made decrees that they would later regret hallelujah they couldn't take it back listen Job chapter 22 and verse number 28 tells us that thou shall also decree a thing and it shall be established and so it's very very important uh, that we begin to make declarations uh, and begin to decree things uh, and they shall be established. Uh, the word of God, I believe it's Isaiah chapter 55. It says, as the rain and the snow comes down from heaven and waters the earth to give it seed, amen, to help the plants grow, amen, it accomplishes what it was sent to do. It doesn't go back. Beloved, you must understand when you decree a thing just like the kings did, it cannot be reversed. And that's why it's important, hallelujah, amen, that you decree the right things, that you open up your mouth and declare the right things, hallelujah, because it shall be established. I want to make this declaration today. I am going to live to see God's promises fulfilled in my life. I want you to open up your mouth and make that declaration. I'm going to live to see God's promises fulfilled in my life. Psalm, somebody said I need a scripture. Psalm 118 and verse 17 says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Listen, listen, listen. I gotta wind it down. I remind you of our subject today. You're going to live to see it happen. Our subtopic is the goodness of the Lord. Listen, beloved. Listen, listen, listen. There is a reason why God's goodness must be seen in the earth. I feel like I need to take my time right here. Hallelujah, because I don't want you to miss these jewels. There is a reason for it. Amen. We defined, amen, goodness as the manifestation of God in the earth. Amen. And there is a reason why God's goodness must be seen in the earth. Amen. It's not so you can hoard up, amen, a whole bunch of stuff. That's not why God has uh, supplied us with all of his goodness. And yes, that includes material things. Hallelujah. For I hear the word of God saying, amen. Beloved, I wish above all that thou would prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. Prospers. Listen, there's a reason. There is a reason why God's goodness must be seen in the earth. And again, it's not for you to go around boasting, hallelujah, and bragging. I got so many uh, 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 people, amen, that do a whole, God didn't give you all of his goodness, hallelujah, so you can boast and brag. That's not what the goodness is. God didn't give you all of his goodness and all of this splendor, amen, so you can just accumulate a bunch of material stuff. That's not what the goodness is about. Hallelujah to God. Listen, in this hour we are living in, somebody said it already, in this world, this is a dark 
world. Amen. This world is corrupt. Uh, we know it. This world is wicked. Hallelujah. Amen. And guess what? Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to get worse. Amen. All you have to do is pick up the Bible and see how the Bible is fulfilling itself each and every day. It's not going to get better. But one thing about God, who is all powerful, all goodness, even in dark times, God is still good. Somebody give God a praise here in this hour that we're living in. Hear me today. I'm getting ready to tell you what the goodness is all about. Uh, hallelujah. In this hour that we're living in. Uh, hallelujah. It will be the goodness of the Lord uh, that will lead men to repentance. Did you hear what I said? It will be the, that's why the goodness has to be seen. That's why the goodness has to be beheld. That's why the goodness has to be represented. It has to be manifested because it's the goodness of the Lord that will lead men to repentance. According to Romans 2 and 14, don't miss it. What is it all about? Hallelujah. What is this manifestation of goodness all about? Hallelujah. The goodness has to be expressed. The goodness has to be seen. The goodness has to be visible. It has to be represented because the goodness of the Lord leadeth men to repentance. Hallelujah. I repeat, goodness will lead men to repentance. They'll look at you. They'll look at me. Even in this dark time, they'll look at us and they'll know that we serve a good king. Somebody give God praise. He's a good God. Hallelujah. It's not going to be you talking about people that will draw them to God. It's not going to be us judging them that will draw them to God. It is the goodness of the Lord that leads men to repentance. Somebody give God a praise and release as many hearts as you can. The Bible says, amen, this time is going to get worse. Hallelujah. For the Bible says men's hearts are going to fail them for fear for the things that are coming upon this earth. And the very powers of heaven are going to be shaken according to Luke 21 and 26. Hallelujah. I don't come to lie to you. Amen. I come to tell you the truth. This day you think is dark now. It's going to get darker. Hallelujah to God. You think it's corrupt now. You ain't seen corruption uh, on the level that's getting ready to hit this earth. Uh, you think, hallelujah, people are wicked now. The Bible says uh, that men's hearts are going to fail them uh, for fear. Uh, hallelujah. Then it turns around and says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, according to Matthew 24 and verse number 12 but I got good news I came to tell somebody that the goodness of the Lord seen on you and seen on me see people are needing something in this dark hour they're looking for truth they're looking for realness they want to be loved I heard somebody say that even a thug needs a hug hallelujah so while it's dark, uh, hallelujah, let them see the goodness of you. I hear the word of God saying, uh, let your light uh, so shine before men uh, that they may see your goodness 
and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Light is most useful in darkness. Um, goodness is an effective tool for drawing men to God. The Bible says uh, that we overcome evil with good, according to Romans 12. And verse number 21, somebody say, God is good. Listen, when we talk about the goodness of the Lord, watch this. Uh, I believe that's why goodness uh, and mercy follows us uh, all the days of our life, uh, according to Psalm 23 and verse number six. Uh, amen. Because when we get low, listen, are you here today? Uh, when we get low on goodness, amen, the goodness that was following us uh, catches up with us and overtakes us and then God replenishes his goodness and mercy that follows us every day. I hear the word of God in lamentation saying his mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. And as I close this message, hallelujah, the thought is, the declaration is, you are going to live to see it happen. I don't know who's listening. It may be someone in the Zoom room. It may be someone on live. It may be someone that comes in and uh, reviews this on replay. I decree and declare you are going to live to see the promises of God fulfilled in your life. You're going to live to see it happen. You're going to live to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Come on somebody and give God praise in the house today. Come on and lift him up. Hallelujah. And say I receive. I receive. Amen. One of the songs we played today they said uh, the devil is a liar. Don't believe anything, hallelujah, that the devil is trying to place in your mind. Ah, the devil comes to steal, kill, uh, and to destroy, uh, and to lie to you, to tell you you are almost ready to check out of here. I decree and declare by the word of God I shall live and not die. I shall declare the works of the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. Let this song minister to you. You've been so good. Mm. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. Oh, sha. Even if I try. You've been so good. So good. Yes, God. He's good. That's all I came to tell you this morning. God is good. To me. Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I try, cause you've been so good. Lift your voice. Tell them today, you so good to me. Let's go right here, everybody. Lift up your voice. Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Come on, say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you 